the problem is a lot of these things take you to your past and make you process your past traumas or the events that have happened. Now you can get caught into that too and keep going and going and going and do a number of years of doing psychotherapy. It could be under any name uh, or doing self-motivating -motiv courses or um, workshops and uh, but then get caught into this place of blaming yourself or shaming yourself or feeling guilty about the things you've done or doing now or in the past. Once you go through this process, and if we're lucky or if it's meant to be, and then coming to this other teaching, coming to a different level of understanding. And now this is a lot deeper, it's a lot more advanced because you are going to the very fundamentals and very basics of the idea of who you are. You're questioning, who am I? Now, in this process of really questioning, who am I? Who is this person? Again, this is deep. This is advanced because we're talking about going to arriving at a place that now the attention is turning inwards and you're asking a really fundamental question who am i who is this me who is this mechanism that is thinking and has got an identity he or she thinks it's a person identifying to the mechanism, the body and the mind, the mechanism that is functioning. And it's consciousness identifying with it. it means picking up an identity of a person, of a human being picking up an identity that you are someone, okay? You are somebody, you are a person, separated from everything else. You are a person. This is how you've been experiencing life from childhood, that you are someone capable of your own decisions and you're making right and wrong decisions and when you're making the right decision pride comes and you're patting yourself that you did it and you're bold enough to put your finger at other people that they're screwed up and they're lost And if they did this, if they did that, they would have been in a much better place. So as the awareness coming in, and if you are lucky and you come to this, this path, this particular teaching, if your ears are sharp and it's like meant to be, to come to this level, this type of understanding that you are questioning your own existence as a separate being in separation that is there a me independently the way i am that is able to make its own decisions it's got its own free will 
Therefore, when it's making mistakes or doing something shameful, is ashamed of itself. So when it really screws up, the awareness has come to a point that it shames itself. And then when it does something really good and succeeds, the pride is there. Now, this is the very pivotal place because to cross the bridge, to go to the other side means that now you're at the place that if your ears are open, your eyes are open, your heart has opened up and you are willing, maybe at this place, you can go through a transformation. You can go to the next level by really questioning, is there a separate me? Is there a me in who's capable of calling its own shots? Examining that, really getting to that because it gets challenging it's scary all the indications everything which is here is supporting this idea everything is supporting that there's a you separated from everything else all the evidence is supporting it In the beginning, it appears to be that way. Within, how could you be making decisions on your own, separated from the entire existence? How could that be? If you dive into it and willing to put your prejudice away and everything they've taught to you and questioning everything that you've been taught up to this point, you're sincerely questioning it, willing to take these glasses off and put another pair of glasses to look at something that you may have never thought or the thought may have come at points in your life that is it just destiny am i programmed to be doing everything i'm doing am i just an appearance in this life it appears to be it's an object which is following its program it's like a computer has been pre-programmed to do everything it has to do in this life and could it be that something greater that the creator god consciousness yahweh the grand kahuna is experiencing and living life through this mechanism to this unit could that be so if we're we're entertaining the idea so if that's the case that you're completely pre-programmed based on your genetic makeup, your DNA, your, where you were born, where you landed, your conditioning, whether you were conditioned in a European mindset of lifestyle or in, a, in the Islamic fundamentalist mindset or in Africa or in South America or in China.